this right here. Let's make some weed butter. Before you go out and purchase cannabis and make this, read up on your cannabis laws in your state. Not all states have legalized marijuana for recreational or medical use. Sucks for you, Alabama and Idaho. Also, if you're under 21, this video doesn't pertain to you. So go, so go and so go and do something else. Canna butter, butter that's infused with cannabis, is one of the most important ingredients when you're baking with marijuana. So how do you make this amazing concoction? Well, I scoured the internet and compiled the best practices from different recipes and techniques. And here's what I found. For this, I'm gonna demo two ways. A slow way using a sous vide and a faster way using a pressure cooker. So here's what you need. So before we even start cooking, we must activate the cannabis so it can infuse with the butter. This, my friend, is called decarboxylation. So we're using mason jars for the decarbing, AKA activating the cannabis, because it helps with the smell. You'll want to put the cannabis in the mason jar and close finger tight, which means not super tight. So the mason jar may float in the water bath. So use a weight to keep it submerged, like a jar with coins. Cool. So I guess we're ready. Ready to make some can of butter. So what is the butter to cannabis ratio? From what I read, it is one pound of butter for every one ounce of cannabis. Uh, but keep in mind, it's all about your tolerance. I am doing an eighth of cannabis to one stick of butter. If it doesn't work out, if I need more, I'll add more for the next time, but I think this is a good marking point, really good baseline. I don't wanna get too high. So don't forget, place a jar in the water gently. The water is very hot and the jar might float. While we wait, let's go bother my dog. Abel. Abel. For an easier pour, use a wired strainer with your cheesecloth. Or you can use a rubber band around the jar to hold the cheesecloth in place. Well, there you have it. Two ways of making can of butter. You'll definitely taste the cannabis if you eat it on toast. It's also great for baking. And if I had to choose which one is better, definitely the pressure cooker way. It's much easier and just much quicker. Tell me what you feel, which way is better for you. And always, peace out, and Gizmodo forever.